Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wiseant, and I'm answering a problem submitted by a student. The student classifies this as a pre-calculus problem, or maybe even a calculus problem, but I don't, I don't really see any pre-calculus or calculus involved here. We'll just go ahead and solve the problem as written, and uh, hope that does the trick. Well, we have a tank with uh, 16 gallons of water in it. And they're, they're interested in the remaining water remaining. So it's the remaining amount of water, obviously, is equal to the starting amount. minus the amount that was drained. So this is just going to be 16, because it's 16 gallons in the tank. And it drains 22 pounds of water, so we just need to figure out how many gallons that is. So it's going to be, let's see, it's going to be 1 over 22. So water weighs, let's see, so many pounds per gallon. So it's going to be 1 gallon, which weighs 8.345. pounds times 22 pounds. You see the pounds, oops, I forgot to put that in there. This is pounds here. And we're going to multiply it by 22 pounds. So you can see the pounds cancel and you're left with gallons. So this is going to be 16 minus, now I'm just going to go on my calculator and take 22, 22 divided by 8.345 gives me 2.6 gallons, 2.6 2.64, I'll say. And so that tells me that there are 13.36 remaining, remaining gallons remaining. Okay, and that's a warm up for part B. Part B is they want a function F that determines the amount of water in gallons remaining. So that'll be our F of W. Now W is the water remaining depending on the pounds drained. So W is going to be in pounds. And so you can see that's where our weight is. So it's going to be 16 minus 1 over 8.345 times W. W is the number of pounds of water <coughs> that have been drained, which was 22 in the example up here. Now we're just substituting that with a variable. So that's our function. And, you know, I think <clears throat> you might want to consider the graph here before answering questions about domain and range. Um, first of all, you have to realize that this is a linear function. And when W is zero, so W here is drained, this is the amount drained. 
f of w is the r amount remaining. And so there's f of w here. Well, when you drain nothing, when w is zero, you drain nothing, absolutely nothing. You're left with that, that tank that started at 16. And eventually, you're going to get down to the point where there's nothing remaining in the tank. Obviously, that's when you drained 16 gallons. But W is in terms of pounds. So we can find that intercept if we want to. We might need to. Let's, uh, let's see what the next part of it asks about. What's the domain? So we do have to find this W. So we'll do it formally. We'll just ask ourselves, when is the amount remaining zero? So 0 equals 16 minus W over 8.345. So we get negative 16 equals negative W over 8.345. So then W is going to be 16, 16 times 8.345, which is going to be 133, 133.52. So that's going to be, this coordinate is going to be 133,0, just rounding it to the nearest pound of water. So our domain here is uh, is going to be from zero um, zero to one thirty three point five seven and that would be inclusive on both sides we're starting in the range you can see the range is zero to sixteen Eventually, the tank will not have any water remaining. And so that's it. It's just a straight line graph. It's just an odd problem. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a problem quite like this one. It's, a, it's basically a unit conversion problem that's wrapped, uh, wrapped into a, uh, a pretty standard linear uh, linear relation. So I think the student probably had trouble here because it was um, a weird combination of things going on. All right, well, that's it for this one. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.